welcome once again to our service of ritual to honor and mourn the outgoing year and to greet and to welcome 2022, our new year. The tradition of this congregation for many years has been to follow the form of a traditional New Orleans jazz funeral. And in borrowing this cultural expression, a practice that grew in the areas in and around New Orleans, Louisiana, in the Mississippi Delta, it is our intention to honor and to appreciate respectfully. In our culture that sometimes likes to skip over the sad parts of life to get to the silver lining or the good stuff, this tradition reminds us that we cannot embrace change and growth without acknowledging losses and difficulties and pain. Experts from Brene Brown to Carl Jung remind us that, that we cannot really experience joy and delight fully if we do not take time to lament first, to experience our sadness and our despair. And music is the vehicle through which all of these human states of feeling can find beautiful expression and do in the jazz funeral. And so today it will be the music, not the words, that really carry the power of our service. But just to give you a few guideposts through this experience, I'll share that in a traditional jazz funeral, there's, it, there's the beginning with a wake at which Morning begins, and the music is very somber and sad, and the mood is painful. And then the day of the funeral, the music carries the mood of the mourners through from their sadness and grief into appreciation, delight, gratitude, and joy as the rhythm picks up and the tempo picks up and a new form of joy is created out of the pain of the past. And so in such a way, today we'll begin in a spirit of lament for the old year and we'll honor, we'll grieve the losses that we've sustained and the experiences that we've had. And we'll bury our griefs in a casket and we'll send them out with full honors. And then we'll turn to the spirit of hope as we express a welcome for 2022. And on our journey, it will be these musicians who will guide us and hold us and sustain us. And so I want to thank our musicians, Pat and Jackson and James and Hannah, and I want to thank Michelle for putting this service together today. So let us begin. <laughs> Thank you. 
remembering those who died in 2021. We remember especially beloved member of this congregation, Joan August, who passed so recently. Joan's sweet and lovely spirit, her generosity, and her friendship to many here in our congregation is greatly mourned, and her light will continue to shine in the hearts of all those who knew her and who loved her. In this time of loss and illness on a wide scale throughout our world, many of us have lost beloved family members, friends, and companions this year. And so at this time, I invite you, if you feel so moved, to speak out the names of those loved ones whom you have lost in 2021. Or if you're with us virtually, please share their names if you are moved in the chat. And we will witness your loss. May those who have passed be at peace. May their loved ones be comforted by the love that lives on May all who mourn be held in the care of this community. May we always remember those who have gone. May their memory ever be for blessing.
I invite us to join together in the spirit of quiet meditation as we reflect on all that 2021 has brought into our lives, the changes, the unexpected obstacles, the sudden new circumstances, the hopes we had that were dashed, and also our resilience in meeting each new challenge with ingenuity and spirit. But I would say that for all of us, it has not been an easy time. As we breathe in each breath this morning, grateful for our lives, let us hold compassion, compassion for ourselves, for all that we continue to navigate in our days, for our community, with each fresh loss, each setback, bringing new fears and anxieties, but with each triumph also bringing new strength, new connections, and new ways of coping. For those who have lost dear ones in this time, and for those who are financially insecure, worried about holding body and soul together. We hold compassion for those spirits who have become troubled. And for all of us who were already struggling before the pandemic started and who have had to somehow make it through this hard, hard year. Let us freely acknowledge this pain pain of watching our world, the comfortable world that we thought we knew, fall apart again and again and again. I invite all of us to locate that ache, that tender ache of sadness inside, wherever it is in your body, and to hold it gently to hold it tenderly, knowing that this sadness for our world is one of the faces of love. And we can offer this love to our aching world in this spirit of lament. We can offer our grief and our pain, honoring them as the loving gifts that they truly are. And I ask that we be given the strength to hold the burdens that are ours to hold, and that we be supported by a loving community as we move through all the days of our lives. And that as we say goodbye to this old year, 2021, may we also honor and remember the joys that were ours in 2021 the joy and the pain together, the days of our lives, 2021. May it be so.
in a little while, we'll invite you to say farewell to the past by writing something that you want to let go of. And we'll place it in the casket and we'll give it a good send off. And as you continue to find that place in your heart where that ache resides, I'd, I'd like to read a poem that was written by Tennyson um, that talks about the old year dying. And as we continue to think about the old year passing, I think this is a very appropriate and timely one. The flying cloud, the frosty light, the year is dying in the night. Ring out wild, wild bells to the wild, wild sky. Ring out wild bells and let him die. Ring out the old, ring in the new. Ring happy bells across the snow. The year is going, let him go. Ring out the false, ring in the true. Ring out the grief that saps the mind for those that we here see no more. Ring out the feud twixt rich and poor. Ring in redress to humankind. Ring out a slowly dying cause and ancient forms of party strife. Ring in the nobler modes of life with sweeter manners, purer laws. Ring out the want, the care, the sin, the faithless coldness of these times. Ring out, ring out my mournful rhymes, but ring the fuller minstrel in. Ring out false pride in place and blood, the civic slander and the spite. Ring in the truth of love and light. Ring in the common love of good. Ring out old shapes of foul disease. Ring out the narrowing lust for gold. Ring out the thousand wars of old. Ring in a thousand years of peace. Ring in the valiant ones and free, the larger heart, the kindlier hand. Ring out the darkness of the land. Ring in the Christ that is to be. And so, 2021, we release you. We thank you for the good things you brought, and we honor all of the things that you taught us. We now send you to your rest with love and appreciation as we turn our thoughts to the new year. Thank you. Goodbye. Rest in peace.
here we are in 2022. And we can now turn with a fresh spirit to the beginning of the new year. And I thought, what better way to do that than with a new poem by Amanda Gorman. It's called A New Day's Lyric. And I'm sure I will not do it as well as she would, so you can look and try to find her reading her own poems sometime later today. Um, it's amazing. May this be the day we come together. Morning we come to mend, withered we come to weather. Torn we come to tend, battered we come to better. Tethered by this year of yearning, we are learning that though we weren't ready for this, we have been readied by it. We must always pave a way forward. This hope is our door, our portal even if we never get back to normal. Someday, we can venture beyond it to leave the known and take the first steps. So let us not return to what was normal, but reach forward to what is next. What was cursed, we will cure. What was plagued, we will prove pure. Where we tend to argue, we will try to agree. Those fortunes we forswore, now the future we foresee. Where we weren't aware, we're now awake. Those moments we missed are now these moments we make. The moments we meet and our hearts once all together beaten, now all together heal. Come, look up with kindness yet, for even solace can be sourced from sorrow. We remember not just for the sake of yesterday, but to take on tomorrow. We heed this old spirit in a new day's lyric. In our hearts we hear it. For auld lang syne, my dear, for auld lang syne. Be bold, sang time this year. Be bold, sang time. For when you honor yesterday, tomorrow you will find. No, what we fought need not be forgot, nor for none. It defines us, it binds us as one. To so come over, join this day, just begun. For wherever we come together, we will forever overcome. So let us greet this new year, 2022, our new days with joy, with strength, and with spirit. In this new year, let us set an intention to love more deeply, to be present to each other in every way that we are able, and to find beauty wherever we go, even when we're just staying at home, maybe especially when we're just staying at home. And above all, let us resolve to live each day in gratitude for this life that we've been given. Let each day be a song, and let the path that we cut through every 24 hours of our lives be a joyful, spirited jazz dance.